right, so the light post is done. <clears throat> now, I have to get that heating box, that fire box rather, over here next to the door. Well, actually, I guess I can do it over there, but I got to do some more welding. I just want to finish welding it up. Uh, I didn't really finish it off, so I want to lay a bead on it <clears throat> and get that done. Um, and then while I have it moved, I want to level the ground over there because I want to start laying some block. So uh, that's what I'm up against. So let me get my butt out there and get that done. Okay. This is the makings. Oh, I just stood up a couple of blocks real quick just to see on the height as to what I was going to have to do. Because i got to find more blocks naturally. So at this point, uh, I'm going to need one more across the top right there. i got to finish off that one down there. So that's another half of half a course. And then one more full course to bring it up where it is now, one, two, and a one. Finish that off. And I just laid a two by four across it and uh, it fit right there. The only thing that kind of held the two by four up a little bit was just a little weld right in the middle. But it only threw it off just enough to rock it a quarter of an inch or so. So if I have a piece of metal spanned it across that whole thing, uh, I'm not gonna have to worry about it. Not at all. So there we are. So that is done. I gotta get one more measurement. It's 79 inches across. I forgot to get the depth. 79 by 42. 79 across, 42 feet. So uh, I gotta find a piece of. Uh, I like to get 12 gauge or uh, maybe a gauge of 316 stick uh, steel, but we will see. I do have that corrugated. Oh, I forgot I had that. Huh. And I got some heavy corrugated in the back. The only thing is, the corrugated is going to make it hard for me to put the chimney for it. Uh, so that's not going to work. Alright. So much for the corrugated. I forgot I had all that corrugated though. Now that there is a 12 gauge. It's a little thinner than that. The stuff in the back is uh, heavy. Every 12 gauge galvanized. Um, but again, there's no way that I'd be able to work the chimney being that close. It would be off about an inch and a half. And uh, as John stated, I don't want that just in case any fumes seep out between the uh, fire box and the heat box. I don't want those fumes or smoke to get into the living area or the workshop so so that's why he was telling me to keep whatever i can the top piece right on here see the corrugated will be like this which means well you know what no can't do it i gotta have play flat flat stock all right guys well thank you for watering my little thing there mr lance all right guys I'm going to call it a day.